All right, did you know this? Sleep should take up about a third of your day, but for many of us, rest does not come easy. In today's Health Watch, Tirsa Smith shows you a local sleep center that is helping people get the rest they need for better health. These two pieces here will go right up in the nose, around the ears, tighten from the bottom. Summit Sleep Services in West Knoxville opened a few months ago and they've hit the ground running. We provide uh, the full range of sleep medicine services. So we treat uh, patients with obstructive sleep apnea, central sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, insomnia, narcolepsy, and others. Medical director Dr. Alok Shechdeva says if you find you just aren't sleeping through the night, it might be time to seek help. It's excessive. You're getting up in the morning to start your day. You're exhausted. You don't feel rested. One thing I hear uh, a fair amount is, you know, when I get up in the morning to start my day, I'm more tired than when I went to sleep. So that, that non-restorative sleep is a clear indicator that there could be a problem. So you can see in this hypnogram on the bottom of the page, the teal is uh, slow wave sleep or stage three. Such Deva giving us a tour of the lab and sleep center. This is one of the sleep rooms, yep. Um, this, is, this is not what I expected. It's not very clinical. Some patients stay overnight and are monitored by staff. Others will take home sleep monitors. First off, when you get ready to go to sleep, you want to put this on. You want to put it on about chest high, underneath your armpits, um, right up on the side of the chest. Uh, the strap on the left-hand side right here is going to adjust that for you. Good sleep should take up about a third of your day, eight of your 24-hour period. Very difficult to sit on a two-legged stool, right? Same, same, same concept. So if you, if you aren't doing well in a third of your day, it's going to have a major impact not only on your quality of life, but on your long-term health moving forward. People who suffer from high blood pressure, heart disease, and more, who have loud snoring or stop breathing at night, should take the poor sleep seriously. For example, if you take obstructive sleep apnea, which we diagnose and treat frequently, when it's severe, it can break up one's sleep so frequently during the night that, you know, you have that feeling of not sleeping at all when you wake in the morning. When you restore that healthy sleep to that person, um, it's like a new lease on life, it truly is. Improving your quality of life and your overall health. For Health Watch, Tirsa Smith, WATE, six on your side. Now listen to this, according to the American Sleep Apnea Association, 50 to 70 million people in our country have sleep disorders. One in three adults don't regularly get the recommended amount of uninterrupted sleep they need to protect their long-term health.